Here's the guys of Pi Cap Alpha camped out at West Rose. This year, though, they're at the new Baxter Arena, but still on the same mission. Yes, the 13th annual Just Can It starts one week from today to bring in donations and raise awareness about homelessness in our area. That's right. Nick Rieschel and Cole Richter, they're both fraternity members and helped organize this drive. Good to see Hi, you guys. Hi, it's nice to have you <laughs> here. Thanks for stopping by. No, explain Just Can It. We're familiar with it because mm -hmm. we've had your fraternity on the show the last few years, but what is it? Yeah. So basically, it's a non perishable food item drive, basically, a glorified food drive. <laughs> that we do through bakers and donate to the Salvation Army to basically, you know, get more food for their bank at this time of year. They're kind of slow on food right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a p kind of a point where we basically go to bakers and kind of solicit shoppers, you know, donate your cans, donate your box mac and cheese and cereal so we can kind of get this going to the Salvation Army. All right, Nick, let's talk about some of the items. I, lo I love your candor and say as a glorified food drive because you yes. do. I mean, you camp out because you know that's going to get more attention right, to the right. event. I mean, this is some of what you're doing. Some of it is to be able to say, um, I, you know, to some extent, I walked a mile in your shoes. You have more empathy for people in our community who are in right. need. For our, our viewers who shop at Bakers or anywhere else and they want to um, participate, what kinds of items are you looking for specifically? We've got some, some things yeah. here for you to think about at home. Definitely. But what are you looking for? Yeah, so cereal is one of the biggest items in need right now that they're definitely looking for. Um, your box dinners, your canned goods, um, canned meat, canned vegetables mm -hmm. are kind of the main things. Um, basically, any item that, that's non-perishable, like Cole had said, um, and really anything that can help those in need. Mm -hmm. How much did you collect last year? Um, we collected about 35,900 items, and this wow. year our goal is to hit around 40,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. How, how, does this, uh, how does this drive affect you guys? I know because you're camping out, it's a different concept. Uh, for, for you personally, how does it affect you? You know, I would say it kind of gives us that idea of what, I mean, to an extent, I should say, you know, an idea of how kind of a struggle it is. You know, at the same time, you know, we're we're living in these cardboard boxes, and I'm not I'm not trying to pull sympathy out of it, but it just kind of gives us a better idea of we're trying to raise awareness throughout the community of how this is a problem, and by camping out, it can kind of show, you know, we're trying to get an idea of what it feels like. Mm -hmm. So we still go about our normal schedule with school. You know, we'll we'll stay there, you know, we'll get up, we'll have to go to school, but it kind of gives us that sense of how it works mm -hmm. and what they go through to an extent that is. Yeah, you take shifts though, right? The fraternity members oh, yeah. take shifts. Absolutely. So you, you, some guys can go to class while Definitely. the other guys uh, man the post there. He's talking about the experience of the drive. Would you speak to the feeling after it's all said and done and you've got tens of thousands yeah. of items to donate and you're, you're looking at what, what you've made happen, what right. does that feel like? Yeah, it's, it's honestly overwhelming and I think, you know, we were down there earlier today and even last night just looking at what we've already raised so far and just looking in there and seeing that this truly is going to make a difference, I think that, that speaks miles already and we haven't even started the food drive mm -hmm. yet. I'm essentially, I should say, the week of it. So going afterwards, you know, last year I, I was able to help take part in moving the items from the truck into the Salvation uh -huh. Army and just seeing the faces and seeing everything that we worked hard to do and what it's doing to better help someone else. So it's really, I think, inspiring to say the least. And, you know, for me, it's awesome. This event is my favorite because it, it brings the community together. And we're asking for, you know, the, the help of UNO's community, the fraternity's community, but like the greater Omaha community, which I think is what's most important right now. Yeah, I know a lot of people that participate in this event. And then there's also this, um, you have a barbecue and a concert that comes yeah, along with this, right? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. How, where does that come into play? Yeah, so every year we kind of do different events depending on the night. And so uh, the first night we're going to be doing um, kind of like a, a kickoff event with the build off. Um, and then obviously Wednesday is the big event where we're doing our concert and then our barbecue as well. Mm -hmm. And the, the cool thing about that is it's a member in our fraternity who's banded it. So not only are we helping him out and, and getting his name out there, um, but it's also just a great event for family members across the community to come to and just enjoy the concert, enjoy everything. Well, that is free, but you're taking donations that night Correct. as you are the entire week. So we'll Definitely. show you that information um, online at salarmyomaha.org. And in fact, we've got some of the folks here from the Salvation Army. They they love you for doing this. Yeah. Um, but it all kicks off on March 28th, runs through April 1st. No kidding around, but we're moving this year. So instead of West Roads, if you've ever been on Dodge and you, you've driven by there, you saw them out in the parking lot. Well, this year with the new Baxter Arena, that's where they'll be. If you would like to, a lot of parents like to take their kids shopping to pick up things and really right. instill that philanthropic spirit in yeah, their crossroads family. Exactly. Too. Crossroads? We were. Well. Oh, did well I say West? Yes. Oh, so yes. it was Crossroads yeah. with 72nd yeah. and Dodge. Yeah. And this year you we're think I know where, where I'm shopping. Yeah. <laughs> Of all people in the room. Yeah, right, right there on 72nd and Dodge. Exactly. You saw the, the yeah, cardboard boxes up there. Yeah. Guys, exactly. thank you. It's Thanks great, to, great to have you here. Thank yeah. you. Good luck, okay? Thank, thank you. Thank you both.